Hello YouTube. Hello world. Uh, oh hey, gotta relax here. So anyway, this video, um, I just got finished talk, or watching Joe Talk 100 and his newest video, this and that, and he was talking about uh, Muslims and all that, and all these, even Jews and all these other people, and uh, I'm sitting here thinking, and I've thought this a long time ago, about these situations. See, I'm not very religious, really. I have a lot of faith, but I don't have any religion, and I don't like religious people. You know, I've really been screwed bad, really bad by the people in their, in that genre with their tinsel trucks and all that. And, uh, you know, I mean, well, I'll give you a little clue as to how I feel about it. Um, you know, I've gone up to them and tried, you know, applied for work, applied for jobs and all that, and they, boy, oh, we can't have that kind of guy working at our place, you know. But by God, when you show up in their church, oh, they just love you and all that, and they should give, want to give you all their old clothes and all that. Like, you know, if you'd give me the job, I wouldn't need your old clothes, brother. And uh, you never know. Okay, let's see. I'm going to sit here and relax here. Check this out. What gets me is, and I've been in the position of hiring and firing, and, uh, you know, other people, someone comes up and applies for a job. And uh, then someone else goes, oh, I know him. You know, you don't want to hire him. He, he's a piece of crap for this and that, right? And uh, you know what I say to that? I said, well, you know what? You don't know if God sent him to me. And for you to say that, as far as I'm concerned, that's stay in God's hand. God might be working in that man's life. Not to mention the fact, I got gun oil over We went shooting all day today. Oh, sorry. Um, not to mention the fact, God might have sent that person to you to test just how you will act. What you will do with this person that he wants to give a break to. And then look what you do. He says, oh, we can't have that guy in here. We can't do that. Well, anyway, that's how I feel. So anyway, Joe Talk 100 was talking about, you know, what's going on. And my thing is, uh, why are these people so worried about things on earth when they're promised the kingdom of heaven? You know, as far as I'm concerned, I couldn't give a flying fish what goes on on this earth. You know, I want off this rock, right? I, we're put here to make our decisions, our own decisions. God put us here to make decisions about whether we like earthly things or if we want to go to be spiritual beings. I think that's how I feel. And, uh, yeah, you make the choice. It's up to us. It's not up to some Muslim. It's not up to some Jewish person. It's not up to anyone to make you and your decision about your soul. It's not up to anyone but the owner of the soul, as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, and, and the Muslims, I think, because I've been stuck way out here. I, I'm not really that hep to them. I've never met one, actually, I don't think. And um, they said, man, we must cleanse the earth of the infidels. And I said, who cares? It's a rock. It's made out of dirt. Why are you so worried about it? What do you care? You want to cleanse this earth when, it, you know, your God, I don't know, I think it's the same God as mine, says, I got a place for you in heaven. Right? Man, if that was the case, you know, if you believe it, and I believe it, I couldn't care less what goes on here. I don't care what's on it, who's on it, how they act, what they do. Don't care. I care about me. I'll tell you about things that, hey, you know what? You know, there's this guy. He's Jesus, man. He's, he's got it going on. He says we got a place in heaven if we just act right and believe in him. That's good for me. Right? But if someone comes along and says... Well, you have to go, and if that one guy, he says he don't want to believe like you do, you got to kill him. Like, what? That's odd. Well, who cares? What would I care at all about anything on this physical world? Aren't we supposed to be striving to be a higher, more spiritual being and to 
I don't know about evolve. I don't know if evolve's the word for it. You know? But we just got to take care of ourselves and be good people and earn our way off this planet. Or into, into this material world, the physical world. You know, physics. That's what's, I mean, look, at it. it's called physics. Physics explains all of everything about the physical world with math. <laughs> I never could hang with that. My kids do, boy, they kick some butt. But um, if, if I'm wrong, you know, let me know. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, <clears throat> Jesus and Christianity is, I think, the only religion that teaches, you know what? Ain't nothing on this earth you want. I mean, yeah, you're having a good time while you're here, but that's for a reason. That's so you can say, well, yeah, I can have a good time here, and this is cool. You know, you get to have sex, and you get to look at things and colors and all that, and eat. Uh, that's <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, but there's lots of stuff that's, you know, that, you know, pleases your physical senses here. And I think we're supposed to rise above that. That's the gig, isn't it? And then someone else worries about how you do that? I said, man, you better look in your own yard and clean it before you come looking at mine. You know, how can you profess to say, some god told me I gotta kill 10 million people if they don't believe in this particular way. That's something a king says that wants to get someone motivated to go conquer land and obtain assets and materials and stuff and goods. That isn't any god I'd follow. The only god I'd follow is someone say, you know what, if you're cool, you act right, and you believe that what I say to you is the truth, I'll get you off this rock. I'm like, whoa, cool. <laughs> That's where I stand. I just don't understand how you could think as a group of people that another group of people doesn't deserve to make their choice unless they make it like you are. Did that make sense? It made sense to me, so I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know how I get too much acid during the 60s. <laughs> but that's the way I look at it. I don't understand it. I don't understand how anyone that could believe in a, in a spiritual being or, a, or a, a higher power would concern themselves in any way, shape, or form or in the slightest bit of anything on the physical plane. Plane. You know, flat thing, plane. Not an airplane. Sorry. <laughs> so, I don't know. What's going on? What You know, well, there it is. And that explains it. So, Joe Talk 100, you know, he's wondering himself. Can someone explain to me why I should be worried about anything or anyone in the physical world when we're supposed to be believing and striving to obtain the spiritual world? That's my question. Live by your wits, not by your worries. Bye.